Hello, and welcome to my Unreal Engine 5 Inventory Setup Tutorial. During this series, we will walk through the steps necessary to create and use an inventory system in a multiplayer setting. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to begin with creating a new project. We will use the third-person template, so select that as well as the starter content and ray tracing on the right. Once that is done, we will name the project and hit Create. Once you're in your project, we will find blueprints within the third-person folder. Here we will find the central blueprint for your character. Double-click to open the blueprint. Select the character mesh component within the component panel. The will open the details panel, and we will make sure we have the right skeletal mesh and animation class selected. We will select Manny for the animation class and Quinn Simple for the skeletal mesh. Now go back to the content drawer. Find meshes under mannequins within the characters folder. We are going to change the name Quinn Simple Skeletal Mesh to Master Skeleton. Go back to the third person blueprint and rename it to Master Character. Within the mannequin folder you will find animations. We will rename Manny to Master Animation. Next, we will create a folder called Inventory Component. Right-click within the folder to create a Blueprint class and select Actor Component. Now we will go back into the Master Character Blueprint and we're going to add the Inventory Component we just created. You can go back into the inventory component and clear out the blueprint and save. Now we're going to add our inventory widget. For a widget, we go to user interface and select widget blueprint. We will go into the widget blueprint. To begin in creating the inventory, we are going to need a canvas panel. And we want our panel to have a border. We will anchor our panel to the middle right side of the screen. We will change our content color and opacity to white and our appearance to black. You can use whatever fits your needs, of course. Next, we will open our inventory component and add our first function. We're going to name this function show inventory. Double click the function to go to the blueprint and we are going to add a widget. Next, we're going to need to get our player controller for our owning player. 
From here we write, click the widget to promote a variable. This will be our widget blueprint that we already have created. Next, we will take the widget and add it to the viewport. Now we have to give our character the ability to open and close the inventory. So we will go into our master character. We will search for the tab keyboard option. When we press the tab button, we want the inventory to appear so we add our function we just created. To make this a toggleable action, we will add a flip-flop between the keyboard action and the function. Once this is done, we will go back to our inventory component blueprint to add a function that will hide the inventory. We drag over our variable and from our function, we will add an is valid to the blueprint. We add our inventory variable once again and search for remove from parent. Within our show inventory function, we want a branch between the function and creation of our widget. We attach our local player controller to our branch. We can now save, compile, and run the project. And there it is. We have an inventory that opens and closes when we press tab. This is just the first episode of this series, and in our next episode, we will add the ability to pick up items. Make sure you like and subscribe to receive notifications of the next episode. Until then, check out some other videos from one of our channels.